expect a very tough game, like every final is. So final is 50-50 game and uh, it will be very tough. Uh, might not be that attractive football because everyone wants to win. So a lot of those will be closed, uh, not too much risk. Uh, you definitely have to go for result, nothing else. And uh, But I believe that uh, people will enjoy the football if they watch on TV and they, they will get some probably a couple of good moves. Well, uh, we must also take into consideration that both of us will be fighting to escape relegation. So uh, uh, I don't know how many uh, weapons we'll pull out uh, for the next game, but from my side, I will put my all weapons out to try to win this game. Just uh, the, the way Chip has pulled out a little bit <laughs> in the last um, five games, one defeat, three wins. Um, pulled out of the, you know, they were in a bit of a plunge. Um, yourself and Mr. Gwambi seem to have com combined for that. He, he sort of stabilized, stabilized the team and then you arrived and, and carried on. Um, how important is that for you right now, given you're playing in a cup final and the relegation battle? And, and, and how much has it been a combination between the two of you? Uh, thanks, Blada. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, nice to hear from you as well. Uh, look, we, we have one goal to achieve and uh, we all focus on that matters. Uh, the, as, a, as a new coach, uh, if I can say new coach in Chipa, I uh, always uh, give the chance to the existing coaches and technical team. So try to work together with them. And uh, obviously so far so good. Uh, we found the same language, which is good, uh, vital for the club as well, not only for me and for them. And uh, uh, so far, we managed to lift the self-confidence of the players. Uh, they put uh, a lot of efforts in those games. Uh, I, I don't know what's happened before. Actually, I watched a couple of games, but I, you, you can't judge from, from, from outside what's happening inside the club. And uh, from, from that point, uh, I must say that we are happy that the players responded very well so far with that changes. So we like it or not, the changes is like unavoidable in, in, in our club here in, in South Africa wide. And uh, so far we have very good uh, understanding. And uh, from the other side, we, we also, we also trying to to actually keep the players focus on the uh, things that we try to achieve all together, which is cup final Saturday. And after that is not a cup final and there is not a cup final. So we did explain to the players what will be asked and what mental approach they must, must have. And uh, we told them that's one by one cup finals here coming across. So the, uh, the, the fighting spirit and, and the winning mentality will be vital for us. So other technical things and tactical things will fall onto the players, we believe, but most important is that the players, they have a fighting spirit and they didn't lose the hope and, and believe that they will survive and on the other side win the cup. So far, that's how we're going now. Good afternoon, coach, and uh, good afternoon, afternoon to my uh, uh, Coach, I mean, You've, you've, you've said, you know, that the main goal now is for you to win this uh, cup final. Uh, you do win it, and then you guys will be playing in the in the African uh, continental football, that is, uh, the Confederations Cup. What would that mean, uh, first and foremost, for you, secondly, for the players, thirdly, for the club, and fourthly, for the entire province of Eastern Cape? Because obviously, you know, seeing that the continental football coming to the Eastern Cape, I'm thinking it will be uh, for the first time. How big... Uh, you know, would this be, as I said, you know, for all the four parts uh, or parties uh, that are concerned? Uh, the concerned. Thank you. Uh, that's a very good question, Karabo. Uh, uh, I like the fact that Eastern Cape never have presentative on the cup final before. And uh, it's a great opportunity for us to give them that cup and to celebrate with them here, with our people here. Uh, we all playing for them and we all trying to to win that for them. From the second second stage, uh, this is the bringing the international football here. It will be vital for football in global point in Eastern Cape because Eastern Cape is the area we all know it's not that developing football football uh, point. We we barely have 
the PSL team on Eastern Cape or any of the team. There's very good teams in Vodacom and they're very, very competitive. And there is a lot of good facilities and there is, there is uh, finances, there is everything here. But because of some reason, uh, uh, football lost popularity. So with the, if we win, God's willing, we win this cup and bring this international football here, that will be a huge boost for all area. And I do believe that people will start to think differently in the sake of developing football in this, in this province. Thank you, uh, Zakele. Thanks, Fatu. Uh, good afternoon, Coach. Um, afternoon, Zakele. You, you, you've come back to Chief United Coach for, for the third time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, surely right. you must you, you must have a soft, soft spot in Chairman's heart because of what you did when they were in the, in the NFP. Um, what, what kind of a person he is? Are you are you maybe not concerned that you, you might be have your restrictions did again and leave the team? Uh, you might be fired uh, as he is. Is this known for at the moment? Look, uh, uh, I share very, very, I have very short term agreement with my chairman here. Uh, we didn't want to plan anything for the future. We just agreed that I'm going to be here uh, until the right moment comes for us to talk. Uh, my mandate is to win the cup and to save the club, uh, which I uh, believe that I'm capable of. and. Uh, and uh, I do believe that we can achieve those together. Uh, from another side, Chairman, Chairman have a very good heart and his family also. Uh, uh, I actually like these people, although I've been cross at him several times because he fired me while without a reason, but uh, he, might also, he might also tell you that, that he don't know why he fired me, but that's what he explained to every one of us. But anyway, uh, I have no, I have no issues with my chairman. From the other side, I'm very glad, grateful that he called me again, and uh, I jump for that opportunity to win the trophy for 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 Quebec and uh, and for Eastern Cape, which is for me a personal achievement number one now. And uh, actually, maybe that plays the main role for me to to accept the job. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh, afternoon, coach. Ofani, oh, how are you feeling? I'm good, coach. How are you? Good. Yeah, you are facing your, your your former club in this historic final. Well, obviously they've got new owners now, but yeah. it is well documented that uh, your departure at the TTM was not the most ideal. But coming into this final, do you still have some sort of a grudge? And uh, given the history between the two of you, and uh, I mean, uh, what is the latest regarding uh, your case with them uh, that was reported to be at FIFA by now? Thank you. Uh, the, the fact that I work in in TTM and uh, we end up on the arbitration, it's not right. It's not good for for both sides. But uh, there's nothing between me and TTM now because it's a new owner and that that, that man did nothing wrong to me. So at that point, I have no no any issues. And uh, but I, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna go all out to try to win this game and beat them. Uh, not with the extra motivation because it's TTM. It can be even uh, whoever, Real Madrid, I will try to win this game final for, 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 for all of us together. So uh, it's not that something extra or bitter, I have something now, I'm going to show them this and that. It's nothing like that. It's like I'll come out and do my job much as I can. Uh, the, the FIFA thinks uh, uh, is called it off and we, we actually... We were sorted now, so my lawyers sort all of these things out and we're okay. Coach, just on, uh, I mean, when you look at players like Anthony Lafour, Opa Manisa, you know, obviously it's players with a lot of experience, you know, and also just great pedigree, having won many, many cups, you know, in the country. When you look at what uh, they bring and what they have, um, what sort of roles do you, do you foresee for them, you know? in what you're trying to accomplish at Chipper, you know, winning the cup final and also um, surviving relocation? We definitely rely on these experienced players where I expect them to, to guide those youngsters to, to success and to actually better performance. And uh, uh, that also might play a big role for us to, to have those guys. We are very privileged to have them here and they definitely will help on that matters. But now, 
they have to go out and they have to now pull up the socks and they have to be the leaders. So it's going to be very interesting to see uh, how does that going to work on young, youngsters. Uh, uh, I don't doubt that they will definitely fight, all of them, and they will definitely do those best to, to win the cup, no matter whether they have cups in a carpet or not. So uh, I do believe that they will do the job uh, and they will make that advantage for us to, to have positive results Saturday. Uh, afternoon, Coach. Uh, you've been in, uh, in South African football for a long time now. I think Maritzburg United in 2007 around there was your entree. And there's been highs and there's been lows. Is this for you your biggest week as a coach in this country, do you think, a, a cup final? And what would it mean for you personally to lift the trophy on Saturday? You're right. It's biggest biggest week that I ever had. Uh, we had the a couple of days ago, we had a game against uh, Kaz Chiefs. Then we had Stellenbosch, very difficult and tough game. And now we have a final. So in 10, 10 games, uh, I have very, very big challenges. And for me personally, uh, means a lot. Uh, if you work 16 years in country and you didn't lift uh, a trophy or like a cup trophy, that's like a little bit uh, pity. But it's a great opportunity for me to win something to, where that I can say, okay, this is something now. Okay, I did win uh, the NFT league and stuff like that, but cup is something else. Cup, cup is something what uh, is on the level of the country, level of the Africa, I believe. And uh, it will be great for me if I can win this game and God's willing, lift this trophy at the Saturday. I must um, have... Yes, coach. Um, I understand that earlier on, the, the premier of the Eastern Cape, um, the Honorable Mr. Mabuyane paid the club a visit. Um, what was the message maybe from him, from the uh, government uh, side? Uh, we know that in the past there have been issues um, from the uh, municipality in PE with how the club is being run and all that. Uh, what was the message? And um, Lastly, uh, in terms of your squad, um, how far is a player like Luyolo no Mandela in terms of fitness? Thank you. Thank you for that question. I don't know political things in in uh, in uh, Quebec, uh, and I'm not involved with them. I don't know what was the issues, but uh, uh, our honourable uh, uh, premier came here to to wish us all the best, to greet us. And he told us that if we lose, he's gonna hang us all in. <laughs> no, he didn't say that, but uh, uh, he definitely supported the club and he was proud of a relationship in between club and, uh, and, and, and the municipality, which uh, oh, existing already a couple of years. And uh, uh, they were very generous. They supporting us really handfully. And we, we, we all proud that that municipality jump on that, on that point to to help us to to achieve something uh, we with 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 honor will be present our municipality at the saturday we all will fight and uh, he also highlighted how important that game is for all area all, all municipality and everyone to pay back actually the support we has been given and uh, he was uh, was ge very generous uh, on the those promises and uh, uh, I do believe we're not going to disappoint him at Saturday. Uh, you asked me about the player, uh, Luguio. Uh, he's okay. He's competing for for starting lineup. He's competing for 20. But, uh, you know, from one, one side, uh, I have a lot of, uh, lot of players that I still don't know, to be honest. They knew for me and uh, uh, I'm still on the uh, that assessment, if I may say like that. Uh, don't forget, before before Saturday's game, I had only three training sessions, and I had to I had to present the club and guide the club guide the team in three very crucial matches that I have had uh, uh, in the last seven days. With three trainings, I believe you understand that's that's impossible to assess all of players. 
So I still need to see them clearly and much more better and much more quicker because I have no time. And uh, I do believe I will choose proper proper players to present us at Saturday in the next game against uh, Black Leopards. Thank you. Thank you once again, Fatu. Uh, coach, I... I just heard you saying that you've had uh, three training sessions prior uh, to the game on Saturday. But then what is it that you've changed uh, since you've arrived? Uh, I mean, you know, they've been, uh, what, seven points out of ten. Uh, have you been able, I mean, football is played with with, with confidence and the right uh, type of arrogance when you go into that little green thing we call football pitch. Uh, have you worked on the psyche of the players, the confidence of the players? What exactly have you changed uh, since you've arrived at the club, at the, at the club, I think a week or a week and a half ago? Thank you. Thank you, Carabo. The, the first uh, aspects of the football that you need to jump in when you try to rescue the club is the mental point. So with all meaning, I try to work on mental point of the players. We, I'm always honest to players and I'm always straight and uh, I talk to them and I told them what, what is the task all about. Because some of them, they weren't aware in this situation we are. From one side, you're facing the cup final. From another side, you, you are like on the bottom of the log. So it's like contradiction in certain point. So it's not easy to, to work on the mentality of the, of, of the players, but uh, uh, the fact that I'm uh, 16 years here helped me to, to probably press the proper buttons in a certain point, if, if I may say like that. But uh, de definitely technical team give me, uh, give, it me, give it to me proper data actually good uh, feedback about the players and performances. So uh, we managed to motivate these players and they change mentality and they understand that they're fighting for themselves for, for better performances in global point. And uh, definitely we did change some kind of approach to the games. And uh, that was the vital. They put hearts together in all three games. I couldn't say one word. There were plenty of mistakes, tactical and technical, but uh, this is part of the football. So I'm not blaming for them. It's not easy. But the good things, the fighting spirit was there, and that was the probably vital mental aspect uh, of the football that we managed to lift in the proper level so that we can compete and get the points. <coughs> so we were lucky once to spot on that one. Uh, coach, what what would you what do you know about the opponents that you are facing this weekend in the final? Without revealing too much, what would you say their weaknesses and their strengths? Thank you. But look, it's a little bit uh, unfair if I comment the weakness of opponent or strength. You know, it's kind of. To, with all your respect, doesn't, doesn't belong to, to public statement. But uh, what I'm saying is that uh, we do know them. I have a lab on my video analysis, who is very good. He, have, he actually loads us with information, give us a lot of games, a lot of video clips. And uh, today we're all watching together uh, TTM versus Kaiser Chiefs. We are sitting together and we're going to watch together this game. Uh, we also have a game against that they play against uh, Black Leopard. So, in, from an analytical point, uh, we more or less know what they're all about. We know they're a strong team. They they playing. They are, they are can they can. They, uh, from my point of view, this team is sleepy lion, and they they have very very good players, and they and they have players who are running, who are passing, who likes to play, likes to compete. From that point, uh, it will be tough. Uh, in physical in physical aspects of of the football and uh, uh, but the one who save more nerves and who came who come with the wisdom on this field that one will be winner